hello everybody as per my tradition I have a little review first impression swatches of the give me some lip and liner set from Sephora so normally they have a give me more lip set which they've had for the last I think four years but this year they decided to throw in more liners so a little bit different than previous years. So it says that it's $185 US value and a $222 Canadian value with a retail cost of $60 US and $72 Canadian. So there are four full size products in this set, which is pretty good. However, three of them are liners, so do keep that in mind and I will point them out, although it'll be pretty obvious as I go through every shade. So the first thing is a clear lip liner. This is no bleeding lips secret lip liner. It is just a clear lip liner. It feels a little bit matte on the lips really really dry. I can see it being used around the edges but I can't see it being used all over the lips. It's just way too drying. So I'd have to use this further to see what kind of combinations it would be good for but just based on my first impressions I think it's going to be a really good option for darker lip colors to keep it from bleeding and I have that problem a lot. Another full size product and another lip liner. This is from Laura Mercier and this is a lip pencil in the shade Naked. It reminds me a lot of MAC lip pencils, not the Pro Longwear ones, but the regular lip pencils because it's a little bit stiff. They actually really look similar. It just doesn't apply very smoothly and it's a, it's a good sort of neutral nude shade for light to fair skin people, but I think it's definitely a better option for people who have warmer skin tones because on me it pulls a little bit orange, so I definitely wouldn't be able to, to comfortably wear this on its own, but I do think I could layer some lighter nude shades, some more neutral nudes, and some brown shades on top of it, and I think I would, I'll be able to make it work that way for me. There is a mini Marc Jacobs lip gloss in here. This is one of the high shine gloss lip lacquers. This is in Pretty Thing. It's a very nice nude neutral shade. It doesn't really have a lot of pigment. It's very light and I liked this gloss on my lips because it wasn't very sticky. It was very smooth. But I definitely think a little bit of this stuff would go a long way and this on top of that liner look beautiful on people who are fair with warm undertones. There is a Too Faced Mini Melted Matte lipstick in here and this is in the shade Sellout and I was really excited to try this because I haven't tried any of the Too Faced Melted Matte lipsticks. I have a couple of the other melted lipsticks that I really like but this one I feel like a lot of the nudes in this set were aimed more towards people with warmer undertones. For me, this lipstick pulled a little bit more orange again. It swatches beautifully and it really looks like a brownish nude, but on me it just wasn't the most flattering. But the formula is wonderful. It's creamy and it's very opaque. You don't need to use a lot. You get a really full coverage. It just it feels it feels really good on the lips. So the formula is definitely a win. Uh, it's just the particular shade is not one that I would have purchased for myself. The last of all the nudie beige light shades is this little mini from YSL. It's the it's a Rouge Pure Couture. It's number 70. It's a little bit more pink, which is why I liked it. I really like the formula of this because it's very smooth and creamy. It does feel a little bit slippery though, so I'd be concerned about the longevity. Obviously I haven't tried all of these out um, for wear time, but I do have a Rouge Pure Couture lipstick from the set last year, which was a red lipstick, and it was definitely quite slippery so I feel like this is going to be the same sort of issue and the packaging collects fingerprints it's like so beautiful luxurious gold packaging but the more I touch it the dirtier it gets and the less luxurious it looks so I, I definitely wouldn't buy this just for the packaging just gonna say that but you know it's, it's not bad but it's not anything that really stands out 
as something special to me. This was a product I'd never heard of before. This is from Benefit and it's the Their Real Double the Lip. So this is in Fuchsia Fever. So it's got two sides to it. Um, one side's a really, really hot, vibrant pink, and the other side's a little bit more purple, and it's supposed to be used as a lipstick and the lip liner, and Hard Candy had a formula like this a little while ago, this ombre lip thing, and I actually had one in a very similar color that I did not like, and I did not like this one. It was really stiff and awkward to apply, and trying to just get the lip liner side was not happening, so I just sort of mixed it all together, and it was this sort of vibrant fuchsia shade that just... It seemed very much like a drugstore cheap lipstick, not something that would be as expensive as a brand like Benefit is. And I feel like it's just really gimmicky and it just, the packaging doesn't back it up. It looks nice, but I would have preferred this lipstick to have just been a solid shade instead of trying to be too trendy. And another fail for me was this Tarte lip liner. This is a Tartist little tiny lip liner in Mood Ring. This was the stiffest formula I have ever tried in a lip liner and it just keeps crumbling away even though I only use the tiniest little bit. Like when it was on my lips it crumbled, when I swatch it it crumbles. It's a shame because the shade is beautiful. It just needs to be creamier and this was just really dry. It was hard, it was just tugging all over my lips. I think this one's probably gonna end up getting trashed pretty soon, um, simply because there's not gonna be anything left of it. This packaging is I mean, it's really a really tiny, tiny sample to begin with, and it's a really thin lip liner that just keeps crumbling away. So definitely a big disappointment, and I, I just don't see the point in this. The Buxom Lip Gloss in Care Royale sort of surprised me because it's more pigmented than I thought it was going to be, but it's still a gloss, so it definitely needs to be layered on top of other things, in my opinion, because it's not fully opaque, and so it's really hard to get it even. You get some spots on your lips that look a little bit darker than others. It's this beautiful burgundy shade. On my lips, it looks a lot more red than it does purple. I thought it was going to be more of a vampy gloss, but it's definitely redder. Um, but on top of a shade um, of lip liner like that Tarte one, or something a little bit darker, I think this would look really, really nice if you're into the glossy lip. And in case you're sort of new to the makeup world and you haven't heard of Buxom lip glosses before, they are awesome. Um, this is a lip cream, not a lip polish. It's got that tingle, sort of that minty feeling. It feels really refreshing and cooling on the lips. I like these glosses um, to use every now and then. I'm not a lip gloss person overall, um, but if I had to recommend some glosses, like the, the Buxom ones, I definitely would recommend to people who do like lip glosses. So the third full-size product is another lip liner. This is from Smashbox. It's the Always Sharp Lip Liner in Crimson. So it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a red lip liner. It's very much like a blue-based true red shade. It's a creamy lip crayon. It definitely applies very, very well, very easily, minimal tugging. So a really great formula that I would definitely be interested in trying again. Um, I'm just not personally a red person, so I don't know how much use I will get out of this particular shade, but I do really like the formula. So surprise, surprise, of course there had to be a little NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in here. This is in Cruella, which probably everybody has. It's not bad. You know, the shade itself even isn't that bad because it's a deeper red shade. It's not a true red shade, so I feel like this red would flatter more people than like the Smashbox lip liner would, although you can layer, so that's the benefit of that. Um, I, I like the Velvet Matte lip pencils because they are a comfortable matte. 
they're sort of like the comfort matte lipsticks from Urban Decay. There's a few other brands that have like comfortable matte lipsticks. So they're lipsticks that don't have any shine. They're matte and comfortable, but they're not super drying. They're not super, um, they don't dry down like some liquid lipsticks do. So they're not super uncomfortable and they don't crack. So they're, they're comfortable to wear. I just wish that Sephora would stop including the same thing over and over and over again. I, I, I like variety when I get samples and packages and I don't want to get the same thing over and over again. So that's definitely something to consider if you're thinking about getting this gift set, this Sephora favorite set. If you have too many of these things already and if you don't totally love them, is it worth it? Another red shade from Makeup Forever, a little mini um, of the Artist Rouge lipsticks. This is M401. It's another decent lipstick. It's very creamy, very smooth. It was definitely a refreshing change from some of the other th products. It's like the, the Velvet Matte Pencil from NARS. So it feels comfortable and it feels really nice. It's, um, it's just, again, the color for me. It's not my favorite. And the last red shade is from Stila. It's one of the Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks in Beso, and this surprised me with how vibrant the shade was. Like, it's like a fire engine red, super bright, and it's a lot creamier and thicker than I was anticipating. I've used um, the Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks before in an old formula, so I feel like they've changed because the one I used before was thin and applied really smoothly and evenly, and this was really, really thin thick. Not to say that I hated it because I definitely like the way that it felt. I just feel like it was super messy and I feel like it would be hard to hard to maintain. It, too much came off of the applicator and I was not expecting that. I thought it was going to be a really thin layer so I don't know if they normally are like that if they normally come off with so much product but that that was would be a bit of a deal breaker for me because I know I would make a huge mess and I can just see it getting all over the place. I don't see how something that thick would be able to dry down and really would last all day. I'm thinking of something like a thinner layer that would just stick and that this definitely was not it. The last full shade is from the Estee Edit. It's one of the lip flip shade transformer shades. This is in Turn Down, which is a black shade. Now, I hate the packaging because you really have to pull on it and it's hard to get the product out. Um, but this is just a black lipstick that's actually surprisingly thick, but you're supposed to be able to layer other lipsticks. So this is supposed to be the transformer so you can darken lipsticks. I find it kind of confusing that it's in this set though because there are so many dark shades. I can't really see darkening them much more. Now I guess I could try it with some of the red shades and try darkening the reds to something that are a little bit more wearable for me but I'm it just this is the odd man out when it comes to this set. It just does not make a lot of sense to me but I I like a black lipstick and I would honestly probably wear this on its own. My camera died. So anyway, the last lip product is from Ciate London. It's a liquid velvet. I really enjoy this formula because it's so creamy. Um, this is in Voodoo and it's what I'm wearing right now. It is beautiful. Of course, it's the shade that I like the most out of this because it's that dark vampy shade. I like this formula because it's moussey. Um, it's like the Tarte um, lip paints that it's creamy, but I find that it lasts pretty well on me. I do have a couple of other ones like this um, from Ciate that I do because I do like the formula. I do find it's really easy to apply. I tend to go a little crazy sometimes with um, dark lip shades and I will like overline like mad. Um, so that's my own thing. It has nothing to do with this product. It's just something that gets in my head. I'm just like, hmm, I bet this would look better if I, if I, my lips were bigger. Hmm, maybe I should just put a little bit more on. Maybe a little bit more. Oh no, I have to even out this side and then it's a train wreck. So anyway, that's all of the lip products that are in this set. Overall, I'm disappointed this year. I definitely think it 
could have been a lot better. I think there could have been a lot more variety. I feel like it was really boring and if you were brand new to makeup and you didn't really have much of anything, this would probably be a good set, like a good gift to give someone who's getting into makeup who doesn't have a lot of lip products. But if you're a lip junkie, there is going to be not a whole lot new here. Um, maybe like the black transformer shade, but that's pretty much it. You probably have dupes for almost everything already in your collection. So unless you are looking to try quite a few of these products and specifically a few of the full sizes as well, not just the deluxe sizes, I don't think this is worth it. You really have to look at what you would use out of this set and be realistic with yourself because if you would not use more than I'm gonna say like five of these products, I would pass on this set and just get the couple of ones that you are really into and you would save yourself a lot of useless products and probably some money depending on the things that you're looking for. That's, that's just a thing to keep in mind in general with these Sephora sets is just to break it down for yourself. Look at the, the cost the value and the things that you really love, what would be the cost of buying them on their own? Is it worth just spending that money on two or three products that you would absolutely love and get a lot of use out of or to have all of these ones that you might use once or twice? So just keep that in mind. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you would like to see from me next and I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye.